your freedom wisely. Romans 14 verses 1 through 6 Receive one who is weak in the faith, but not to dispute over doubtful things. For one believes he may eat all things, but he who is weak eats only vegetables. Let not him who eats despise him who does not eat, and let not him who does not eat judge him who eats, for God has received him. But who are you to judge another servant? To his own master he stands or falls. Indeed, he will be made to stand, for God is able to make him stand. One person esteems one day above another, another esteems every day alike. Let each be fully convinced in his own mind. He who observes the day observes it to the Lord, and he who does not observe the day to the Lord, he does not observe it. He who eats, eats to the Lord, for he gives God thanks, and he who does not eat to the Lord, he does not eat and gives God thanks. In several passages in Paul's writings, in Romans 14 and 1 Corinthians 8, um, and again in 1 Corinthians 10, Paul addresses this whole issue of us having freedom and yet being mindful or respectful of other believers who may have uh, different ideas and perspective on things. We just picked up a passage in Romans 14 where he says, you know, uh, there could be two believers. One, he, he, they just, one person just eats everything. Another person has restrictions on what they eat. One person seems every day is say, the same. Other person considers certain days more important than the others. And then he says, you know, uh, let each one be fully persuaded in their own mind and don't judge one and the other because of their own persuasions. So while we have freedom, we must use our freedom respectfully, uh, wisely. I, I must use my freedom to make sure I do not let another brother stumble. I shouldn't offend another brother, as Paul writes in, in 1 Corinthians 8, that uh, my freedom should not become, my, the exercise of my freedom in Jesus should not become a stumbling block to somebody else. And so I, I walk carefully, I walk respectfully. So use the freedom that you have in Jesus wisely. We are not in subjection to religious systems and man-made rules and observing days and months. And we are not in subject to superstitions. We are not in bondage to the law. So we are set free from all of these things. Our walk in Christ is a walk in the Spirit, dictated by the Holy Spirit. Um, that's our walk. Our walk in Christ is a walk of love. And so we are just totally free from all these things, to walk in love, to walk in the Spirit. And yet, we have to be mindful that we do not use our freedom to satisfy the desires of the flesh, and we do not use our freedom to offend another fellow believer or another person. So our freedom must be exercised wisely. So walk in wisdom as you walk in the freedom that is yours in Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the liberty that we have in Jesus, that we could worship you not through the observing of rules and regulations, but we could worship you freely in the Spirit. And we could walk in the Spirit. And Lord, we pray for the wisdom to use our freedom wisely and to bless other lives so that by love we can serve one another. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.